Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another late night episode of Crypto News. And today, oh, I got a very interesting story for you guys regarding a new Luna. Well, maybe we should prepare for this one this time around. It's basically this new algorithmic stablecoin, which in a lot of ways has a lot of similarities to Luna. And I want to kind of warn you guys and give you guys the inside scoop because this is kind of funny. You guys probably know about it, but still, I need to share this story. Having said that, I just hit the gym, got myself a nice little massage, and I felt, you know what? Even though it's 2 something a.m. or whatnot, let's do a little update on everything that's going on. I, I keep researching, and that's one of the fun things I have, I guess. I like researching crypto. I like digging into this stuff. And all of a sudden, I start to notice, wow. There's so much attention given to this new algorithmic stablecoin, USDD. I have to at least give my two cents on it for the people, right? Because, I mean, Luna, I didn't spot the entire Ponzi idea beforehand because I was invested, obviously, with UST similar. I told people in a lot of these conferences that I don't fully understand how it can work forever, uh, but the idea seemed really good. Algorithmic stablecoins I'm not really against, right? But, well... You'll see in just a second what I mean. You'll see in just a second. Having said that, guys, make sure you press that like button. In a couple of days, I'm going to announce for you guys a, I don't know, 30,000, maybe 50,000 XRP giveaway or so. It's going to run for a couple of months, though. I think maybe one or two months. So, um, yeah, but make sure you press the like button for that. Having said that, today, Bitcoin is at a very important, critical point. Uh, in a couple of hours from now, Bitcoin is going to actually close over on the weekly. I think it might actually be uh, a little bit right now or maybe even already a couple of minutes ago at the time you're watching this maybe already a couple of hours before you're watching this depends on when i upload this all right ever since you watched the start of this a little bit of time has actually passed and right now we are officially past the weekly close and it was actually a very bullish one now the reason this plays a key role i'll talk about it in a different video but let's just say it like this had bitcoin closed a lot lower we'd be in a worse spot mostly because we'd be having a significantly lower low. As of this point, we can actually say that we still got ourselves a triple bottom at the lows from July and the lows of January, since we didn't actually close within or below this demand zone right here. All you have to know for right now is that it's a nice thing. It's a bullish thing. Uh, and a lot of people would agree with me on that one. Similarly, investing.com shared breaking. Sunday night futures open higher as well. Uh, so guys, as Wall Street braces for another busy week, things are looking pretty good. But again, do not get blindsided. Very often things look good at the worst time. So Tron, this coin has been outperforming a lot of other cryptos, guys. It's been really fun to watch. It's been fun since I've been talking about Tron for a very long time. A uh, very fun fact, I think I've made a couple hundred Tron videos in the past. It used to be one of my favorite coins by far. And the main reason I stopped is because Justin Sun, the guy behind it, used to really be a reputable guy in the sense that he had a lot of cool announcements doing really cool things. They bought BitTorrent and whatnot. It was looking really amazing. And then he kind of went down a little spiral of fake giveaways, uh, announcements of announcements, and he just started to go down a spiral of losing credibility. Obviously, if you compare it to the Bitcoin price over on a monthly, though, or uh, let's not even compare it to Terra, well... Tron is doing really well, and a lot of people might be wondering why is that, and what is this stablecoin that Tron keeps talking about? Well, to give you guys some backstory, right now, people are not necessarily worried about Luna for anything else rather than the fact that we don't understand the whole Bitcoin reserve thing. People just want the whole Luna thing to be properly backed or to be properly burned, basically, and all they need to fix their troubles is money. To be honest, the biggest problem that they have is the liquidity issue, and the people are wondering where did the Bitcoin go? And again, it's a trust issue that makes these things not work properly. And even CZ or CZ put it over on Twitter. If you just account for all the Bitcoin, a lot of this stuff will be fixed. And again, we did not have much to do with it, even though a lot of people are commenting about it. And a lot of people are scolding CZ for doing things wrong, yada, yada, yada. I honestly don't really care if CZ did invest or not. I'm not going to hold him accountable for some investment that he's made, mostly because I'm a big investor myself. I've invested in hundreds of companies, and a lot of those guys, I wouldn't even remember their name. So I'm not going to say that CZ is trying to bail them out in any way, shape, or form. He tried to give them logical advice. They didn't properly take it, and now people are wondering where to go. Some places are saying it went to Binance and Gemini. Again, the Binance would be kind of sketch then, depending on how things are going, because then CZ would have known, most likely. 
but I digress. I just want to give you guys a little rundown of what the, the, the problem is here. People lack this little bit of a trust with where the Bitcoin actually went. And people are now also even taking that as far as to saying that Binance is in on the whole scheme and the whole play and whatnot. But I don't want to count that. I don't want to say that. So then it started by Tron. Tron DAO Reserve acquires millions of TRX, Bitcoin, and Tether to safeguard USDD. There's this new stablecoin in town, right? The new algorithmic stablecoin that goes by the name of USDD. Seven days ago, Bitcoin.com News reported on the Tron DAO Reserve, purchasing $40 million in Tron to safeguard the network stablecoin USDD. Since then, uh, and since the Terra USD depending event, the Tron DAO Reserve has continued to purchase large quantities of digital assets to bolster the project reserves. In addition to the Tron purchases, the organization has been adding stable coins and Bitcoin into the mix as well. While Terra's stablecoin imploded, Tron's algorithmic dollar pegged crypto project purchases millions worth of Tron, Bitcoin, and Tether to defend USDD. And the only thing I want to put up here is why take this risk? I don't fully understand why in a time where people are so distrustful of algorithmic stablecoins, is he pushing it so significantly? And again, the reason I'm saying that mostly is because in this algorithmic sense, right, they're backing it up partially by Tron. And since Tron in some sense is pretty similar to Luna, this is like a recipe for disaster. Now, obviously, they're saying Bitcoin and Tether, but it depends on how big the Tether percentage is. It depends on how over collateralized they are. Theoretically speaking, but buying Tron and Bitcoin and looking at it from that perspective, they're doing the same thing as Terra Luna was going through, no? Again, I'm not trying to say that every algorithmic stablecoin is bad. I'm just saying it's a very strange time to be promoting this like crazy, specifically because people are very cautious about it right now. They're thinking, hmm, this was a recipe for disaster. It's a big Ponzi scheme. And I was coming in thinking, huh, you know what? <laughs> this is my call. Justin said is a crazy guy in a good way, I guess. Since then, so since the big crash in the crypto markets, the project, Tron Dow, has continued to burn crypto amid the market carnage that took place because of the UST fallout. Tron stablecoin USDD is also an algorithmic dollar-pegged crypto asset that has similarities to Terra's UST. After the purchase of 504 million Tron, the Tron Dow Reserve tweeted that the team's aims to guard the overall blockchain entry and market, preventing panic trading caused by financial crises, and mitigate severe and long-term economic downturns. The Tron Dow Reserve further added, quote, We also manage the permissions of USDD as its early custodian and ensure its price stability with reserves. I guess one of the reasons why I, I might be a little bit more excited about this is because it's actually the Tron DAO controlling it. So since it's a DAO, it's a little bit more open, a little bit less uh, sketchy, where, for example, the money is flowing, like with the way in which the LFG had done it. These guys uh, have, of course, named themselves TDR. If you guys don't understand the similarities, Tron DAO Reserve. The thing is, though, even though just reading it like this, I'm thinking this is like the worst idea ever in the world. It is working because Tron's price is doing pretty well. Then again, they're buying freaking tons of it, right? You're saying buying a thousand Bitcoin and also buying like a like a hundred million dollars worth of Tron in this little uh, process. And I guess theoretically speaking, this is what they could do to Luna as well. Buy up every single Luna in the freaking market and burn it out, for example, or just keep it in their own reserves, d decreasing the trickling supply. Because theoretically speaking, they can say they've burned it, uh, but just sending it to one of their uh, basically quote unquote burner wallets that's not officially a burner wallet. But it's really crazy. They've also purchased 200 million USDT for 0.985 per unit, which added up to around $197 million. That's actually really good steal, right? They, they made $3 million off of that little swap. But check it out. So similar to the Terra blockchain mechanism of burning Luna to produce UST, to mint a single USDT, it costs $1 worth of Tron to issue the crypto asset. This means it can grow as large as the market allows it, uh, as it allows anyone to mint the stablecoin in a permissionless manner. However, with the market turmoil that took place because of the USTD pegging event, it is safe to say the crypto community is leery of algorithmic stablecoin assets. Despite the issues in the past week, Tron founder Justin Sun talked to Coindesk's Tracy Wang, and he said that he's still optimistic about the algorithmic stablecoin model. I still believe in algorithmic stablecoins, Sun explained to Wang during the Zoom interview. So there's one thing which Justin Sun has which make this a little bit better. And that's the fact that Tron had some value before. Luna came up with this idea of, okay, let's utilize this uh, Terra specific Luna to basically help out the UST. That was the entire process behind Luna. With Tron, it's like Tron has been around for so long, whereas Terra has been around as a layer zero blockchain, but Luna itself has been, I guess, the, the concept of the, the whole UST thing has not been around for too long. 
what Tron has been around for a really long time, and I've been with them since the start, since before Mainnet, since the whole Ethereum debacle. So I've known Tron since a very long time, I would say. I was literal earliest of earliest adopter with Tron. But I don't know, big man, if this was a good idea. I honestly don't know if this was the best right way move. Then again, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because a couple of days ago, I told you guys all, I'm pretty excited about Tron Dow. One of the reasons that is so is because... Wait a minute, newsflash, I'm thinking right now. So, guys, I think I might actually need to go to the doctor because these connections of conspiracies are starting to get to my brain a little bit too much. For all of you that do not know, I've been posting a lot of these theories regarding FTX, right? And regarding how he might, uh, Sam Bankman-Fried might all be connected to all of this. So, one of the reasons I said I was a hypocrite just now is because a couple of weeks ago, I believe about a week and a half ago, I told everybody the reason I'm excited about Tron Dow is because Sam Bankman-Fried is actually appointed to the board of it. So, if you don't know, it says here, Tron Dow reserves appoints Alameda Research as its first member and whitelisted institution. If you have a VC yourself or you're in the little game of investing, you probably know this very well, but Alameda is huge and it's basically FTX slash Sam Bankman-Fried. If you guys do not know, this means that Tron is properly backed in that sense by some of the very big members in the game. That makes it even more crazy though the whole circle comes right back around in the sense of why they're doing this right now what if this was a whole big plan to make ust fill to get usdd on the upside because of the wow 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 then again that's a story for a different day i just really can't fathom that this individual is thinking you know what the whole algorithmic stable coin with luna didn't actually work out properly let's just go for one with tron again let's be real I'm a very big fan of Frax. I've been with them for a long time. I still enjoy whatever they provide, so to speak. USDD, according to Sun, won't operate like traditional ones such as Tether or Circles USDC, which are quote unquote safe. Circles one, the USDC being the safest in my opinion. Tether being a little bit less safe, mostly because they have a lot of collateral, sure, but a lot of it is in convertible, uh, let's say in, uh, in, in papers over in China, which are a little bit iffy iffy. Not confirmed, but that's what we are all thinking because it's not really public. Uh, but rather, as an algorithmic stablecoin such as Terra UST, I'm not sure why I want to flex it that way, and Frax Finance, which again, I do like. When USDD's price is lower than a dollar, users and arbitrageurs can send a dollar worth of, or at least one USDD, to the system and receive one dollar worth of Tron. When USDD's price is higher than one dollar, users and arbitrageurs can send one USD worth of TRX to the decentralized system and receive one USDD. Sun responded saying the Tron designed USDD to have a smaller market cap than its native token, TRX, and to be smaller than the Tron DAO reserve. Now, that is the reason that it's quote-unquote safe partially, depending on how big this reserve is. Let's say, for example, that the market cap of this coin is a billion dollars, but the reserve is 16 billion. It's going to be nearly impossible for this entire token to depeg ever, right? It's all about over-collateralization, even if there were to be a crash in the value. Now, Luna's pitfall, he said, was that they grew to a large market cap in a short space of time. And USDD's market cap hovers around the quarter of a million dollar mark, which is significantly low, I would say billion, right? A far cry from the market caps of 77 billion and 51 billion of Tether and USDC, respectively. Sun said that the Tron DAO reserve would hold TRX and Bitcoin to collateralize their decentralized stablecoin, together with $10 billion in USDT, USDC, BUSD, DAI, which are all other stablecoins, and TUSD. According to the stablecoin's white paper, the stablecoin would maintain its peg by converting one USSD to one dollar worth of TRX, or burning one dollar of TRX to create one USDD. USSD. USDD. <laughs> Tron is also offering 30% risk-free yields for staking USDD, a process where users can stake or lock up USDD for the opportunity to validate a transaction on the blockchain and simultaneously earn returns on USSD. But why is the USSD, USDD, am I confusing these two things? Or is this guy just really stupid at writing this? What in the world? Honestly, am I missing another coin? Why does this guy keep mixing up his USS and USDD? What the? Similar to an investment account at the bank that accrues interest over time. So I'm not going to lie. This sounds very freaking sketch. Even though it's very easy to actually do this properly. It's not actually hard. Once more, all it takes is just to over-collateralize. He, is, he has some cojones that, you, that are worth steel, my guy. Everybody, if you're watching this right now, make sure you press that freaking like button. Let's get it going to at least, like, I don't know, 250 likes or something like that. Let's get it pumping. This is crazy to me. And you know what? I actually was going a little bit against him over on Twitter because um, a little while ago, USDD's official page said, The APR 
of USDC to curve mining pool on curve is up to 60% ish deposit and stake and to earn now. And I was also in the comment section saying, not sure I'm trusting this right now, my guy. I am not sure why this guy is thinking this is a smart idea. And honestly, I had the best of giggles uh, because of Corey Bates. Big shout out to you, my man. I don't think you're going to watch this video because I'm not sure you follow me. That doesn't mean anything, though. Big shout out to you, my friend, for making me giggle. You and Do Kwan can be cellmates. And other people saying, you got some nerve, I'll tell you that. It is crazy, guys. It is crazy that this guy dares to do this. There's a couple of fun things as well, though, guys. One thing is that a lot of people used to allege that Tron took a lot from Ethereum's white paper, just copied and pasted it, and changed a couple of minor things. Uh, and now they're saying, well, they just looked at Luna, changed a couple of minor things, and they're going to keep doing this all the for the entire system or so. Not going to say that's true. I am saying, why? Why right now? Why? Is it because Luna fills where you're thinking, let's fill that gap of all the people that want this algorithmic stablecoin with a crazy APY? Uh, do they just want more people to make the Ponzi type of video is on this. Once more, is this feasible? Can it work? Sure. But it's all about keeping it rather small then. But if that's the purpose, then what is the purpose? Once more, I'm staying about, I don't know, 60 feet away from this. And I highly suggest you guys to be very cautious when treading on this little line, mostly because we have seen the whole UST Luna situation right now. I'm not so sure, even though once more, I do think algorithmic stablecoins have their own way that this is the right idea right now, mostly because there's such a huge amount of fear. And I think it needs some time for people to readjust the idea that, you know, a, a coin backing can be trusted because in reality, it's a lot harder to have a t coin backing rather than a, um, a a stable backing, so to speak. Again, to realize and for, for concept's sake, if you're backing a dollar in a stable coin by an actual dollar that you're holding in your freaking hand, right? This circle, for example, the way in which they've done it. You can always transfer your dollar worth of stablecoin for an actual dollar to your bank account. Tether claims to do the same thing. The only thing is, with Tether, we don't know if they actually have the proper backing for every single one of those, which basically means if all of a sudden 40 billion people, $40 billion were to go out of the system, maybe they couldn't actually pay it back. Then again, that's like a doom scenario as we've seen before. And the reason why it sometimes goes away from its peg is all because it just takes a little bit of time to readjust because in reality, it can't really go too far away from a dollar without crashing completely since they officially have everything backed. And the moment that it actually goes away too far is the moment that the entire hard house of cards crumbles because that means there's something wrong in the way in which it was um, uh, collateralized. Then again, for Circle, theoretically speaking, it can never go away from a dollar because there's arbitrage opportunities. Because if you can always exchange one USDC for one real dollar, the moment it drops below that, people are getting a really big discount. So any person with a, nah, even with a little bit of capital can then use that opportunity to arbitrage and get that little difference between the $1 mark and whatever spot price it is at at that point. Then again, guys, just to end off, if I had to pick one stable coin, I'd honestly pick USDC because of the proper backing behind it. BlackRock is in that they invested in Circle. And honestly, I just think it's the most obviously properly backed again take this with a grain of salt as i at the end of the day don't really know i'm just taking people's word for it in the uh, in the grand scheme of things some announcement just came out that uh, usdt burned about five percent of its total supply in the past 72 hours a lot of the supply is getting moved towards usdc maybe people are noticing but i just find it really fun that tron is going through this right now they're going really heavy at it and the fact that He's claiming as if it's like the best thing in the world, as if it's like the most innovative thought and how it's so much better than the whole Luna situation. When in reality, Luna was doing almost the exact same thing. And I really wonder how he's going to defend people saying it's like similar. So yeah, I'm staying away from it with about a 50 foot pole or something like that. I can't imagine why he do this except for just making more money. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I, 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 I hope he's not going to be cellmates with Doquan pretty soon. We shall see, though. But this is ridiculous. If you ask me, this is so... <laughs> guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. See you guys again. And uh, make sure you share this over on Twitter or whatnot if you guys enjoyed the video. What in the world is going on?